uh, creep. Four words, answers a question, says a lot about you, and you may, it may not be a creepy person, you may not be defined as being a creep, but there's definitely things you could be doing, uh, even on a semi-regular basis, or a hobby you're into, or some little thing that you aren't sure, does that make me creepy, or just interesting, or eccentric? There's all these different ways to say creepy now without actually being, quote, traditionally creepy, but oh, we are yeah. in the creepiest month of the year, and we got up for grabs now, tickets for you to go see Danny Elfman. At the Hollywood Bowl, and that man makes creepy music unlike anyone else. Not uh, just creepy music. He is a creepy collector. Right. He loves that creepy. He has hands. a hand collection. Right. Look, okay. yeah, if, if he was not Danny Elfman, the Danny Elfman we know, but he was just called, be like, yeah, I have a collection of human hands, and I collect them, and I love them, and whenever I go to new countries, I see if I can f- buy some hands. I look, go- oh, that's a nice hand. I wish I could buy those bones. Right. That's yeah, we're dead set, bros. Arguably, you would say mm-hmm. that's uh, that's creepy, and congratulations, you're, you're a creep. At least... In terms of that. So you give us the question, something you're into, and we'll make a determination. And uh, someone's going to leave here with tickets to that show. Go ahead. You're on K-Rock. Um, let's say this person, um, on occasions when they go out with a girl and they end up making, you know, coitus or whatever, um, they asked if they could keep the woman's underwear and keep them as kind of like tokens. <laughs> and this is a friend, right? This is someone you know. It's definitely not you. Sure. <laughs> Trace this number immediately. They're usually down for it because, um, like, I mean, I usually wait till like, you know, after we have sex and, like, it's, I don't know, we're just chit-chatting or whatever. And I, I'd usually only ask if it's, like, after I did. I, I think I did a good job. <laughs> I'm going to say... Creepy. Yeah, I mean... I, Collecting I, underwear in general is creepy. I don't think there's any world where it's not. Also, he referred to them as tokens. Yeah. Which I find... <laughs> I feel that to I be. think it's a huge problem. But, but also, like, if you're a woman, wouldn't you be a... No- like, I know you can buy a ton of underwear. I know Victoria's Secret always, like, 10 pairs for whatever it is, $20 or whatever. But I feel like it would be annoying to constantly have to get new underwear because guys you slept with want to keep your underwear. <laughs> you're like, Ugh, all right, just take them. Yeah, you have to like, get another uh, yeah, I don't five know. for $10. All right. All right. But I also think um, Jake even calling sex manifesting could be creepy. considered creepy. Yeah, this by guy a called it coitus, so that's kind of creepy. Jeanette, yes. welcome to uh, Am I a Creep on K Rock. What is it that you do? Hi, I started collecting taxidermy. And what made you start collecting dead animals? Oh, uh, I have my emo daughter, <laughs> and she's all into that stuff. So. Okay. And so I thought it was pretty cool. And did you start small with, like, squirrel and work your way up? Like, what's the biggest one you have? Um, well, we had a cat who we had for, like, 14 years. And we actually did that to him. His name was Boots. And that was her, like, pet. So where is Boots? Well, we started with butterflies. Oh, uh, my mom doesn't allow him in the house, so we keep him outside. <laughs> You, you keep Boots, the taxidermied cat, outside because your mom thinks it's weird to have the dead stuffed yeah, cat inside. Right. She's yeah. super creeped out about it. Right, this coyote's ooh. like, God, won't, why won't it die? <laughs> so disappointed So easy time. to catch this thing. I think so tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, does that, and, and you've now gone from cat to butterfly to anything else in your collection, or are those your two? Uh, she's got some bugs, but the major one is boots. Are yeah. Bad. I feel different. I feel different. Yeah, yeah. Klein Alley Show. K-R-O-Q, the world famous K-Rock, K-Rock, K-Rock. Question for you is... Are you creepy? Am I a creep? You do things, and maybe they seem, for you, normal, but you just wonder how society would perceive you. For instance, 818 on the text line, who says, when I go in for my flu shot, I actually like to look and watch as the needle goes into my skin. Oh, I do that. See, that's weird. I do. I turn the other way, close my eyes, and hate every part of that process. I don't like... the, The idea that I would look at that happen, to me, seems creepy. Why would you want to watch that? Because I'm interested in seeing what the process is like especially for them i'm like wow that's amazing well how are you gonna find the vein how are you gonna put it in what's the size of the needle i think you're a creep then for all that i mean that's just weird that's the stuff i just want to see no evil i don't want to even think about it but but that's not disgusting or creepy it's just interesting everyone's got their things now look in the end of the needle that's creepy yeah and by the way, if you want to watch a lot of people get needles put into them, you should join us week from uh, this Friday. We're going to be at Dave and Buster's Long Beach for the 10-buck blood suck. 
become a blood hero for Cedars and also at the same time win a bunch of cool stuff from us. For five, first 500 to arrive, a limited edition Klein Alley Show 10 buck blood suck shirt and a $10 player's card for Dave & Buster. Sean, uh, what is it that you do and you need us to determine whether or not you're a creep? Go ahead. Hello, Sean. The word creep on my arm. Say that again. I have a tattoo of the word creep on my arm. Hmm. Why? Uh, so, because uh, I have a lot of anxiety and I'm very self-conscious about looking like a creep. And uh, sometimes I feel like I say things that make people feel uncomfortable. And sometimes when I'm thinking about that in my car, the song Creeps by Radiohead plays. Right. So... Yeah, and so on top of you're building work, your case uh, horribly. Go on. So, so the point is Am that you I, wanted okay. to, you wanted to brand yourself creep, so that people would see you have a tattoo that says creep. And maybe they would think then, oh, you know what? He's not as big of a creep as I thought, considering he has the word tattooed on his arm. Yeah, well, uh, on top of the word is a rain cloud, so that that washes away that feeling because that feeling is on the outside. On the inside is the beauty within. On the spicy scale that Allie just ordered her food on, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a seven and a half, uh, seven and a half on the creep scale. There I has think, to be if you feel too. like a creep, but there has to be something else creepy that you do or are interested in. Hello, what, hello is there sorry. is there anything? There's oh. got to be something other than that that's creepy about you that makes you feel like a creep. Um, I I work with kids. Okay, that's enough. You, Jesus you, 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 you moved up to a 10. Congratulations. He's off the scale. He doesn't even say what he does. He just says, I work with them. That's, that's weird, too. Hey, uh, that scared me. Daria, uh, welcome to uh, Am I a Creep? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Hi. What do you do? Um, well, I, like, I love watching um, videos on YouTube where people are constantly removing either insects like bot flies or splinters or hair splinters or anything that is a removal from the human body i love watching those on youtube wow (laughs) so what's the biggest weirdest thing that you've seen removed from somebody's body on youtube um the weirdest thing for me is um insect larva in the eye Oh. oh And you enjoy watching that? I mean, I know there's people who love all that pimple popper stuff and all Yeah, those. but this is different. Yeah. Having larva removed from your eyeball, and it, that's interesting? Wow. Someone's going to win tickets to go to the Hollywood Bowl and see the captain of all things creep this time of year, Danny Elfman, on November 2nd. But what is it that makes you question whether or not you are a creep? Go ahead, Whitney. Oh, hi. So um, if you remember back in the day, the school planners, there was a little, like, Ziploc in that calendar and I got severely sunburned, and uh, I could peel off large chunks of my stomach skin. And I had heard that <gasps> the skin would liquefy uh, if you held on to it for long enough. So I stuffed it in that little Ziploc. <laughs> and then four years later, <gasps> senior year, it had still not liquefied. And I was like, well, what do I do with it? So I took it out, and I rolled it up, and I put it into donuts, and I fed it to my classmates. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Why would you feed it to your classmates? Did you hate all of them? No, it just, you know, my brain tells me to do something <sighs> and I do. It's a real problem all the time. <laughs> Were they at least uh, good donuts? we have donuts? to call the authorities? Yeah, yeah, try, trace that number, guys. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? Did you go to school in Southern California by chance? Hello? Tina. Where? Huh? In Pasadena, okay. California. Okay, if anyone's eaten a donut in Pasadena, California Jesus. in the last 20 years, now would be your time to throw up I mean, even before the donuts, this was right. weird. Yes, I agree. That just took it to the next level I of mean, creep. she left her skin, her stomach skin, in a Ziploc bag for four years. I thought that people would call us and tell us stuff, and we would at least be able to have a real conversation as to, is that creepy? Is that normal? Like, there's a lot of people here that say, I like to smell uh, parts of my girlfriend and this and that. Yeah, at least you can have a discussion. No, maybe that's just uh, DNA, whatever. You can't even have a discussion about feeding your own skin to your, your, your classmates in a, in a, in a donut. Uh, let's no get dis- another Whitney story, dude. Let's, I bet you probably- she has stories for days. So Wait, many good Whitney, ones. Uh, <laughs> Whitney. How many of them are work skin with related? Yeah, yeah, hold on, Whitney. How, give us your second uh, creepiest story, if that's your first one. Okay, Um, I had something called my party trick that my friend liked for me to do at parties in high school. 
and it was to go shit in a corner. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can't say that word. Hold on, hold on. Okay, <laughs> you, would, you would go number hold two on, in a hold corner. On, hold on, hold on, start again. Hold on, you yeah. cannot, you cannot say the S word. Okay. You, would, your party, Sorry. start again. You did a party the trick. Party, the party trick. If the party happened to have a dog, okay, you would go and you would poop. Uh, Somewhere nearby, and we would see how long it took to get the dog to run and find it and eat it. And oh my God! Oh, Whitney. Whitney. I love that your friends were like, "Do it, do, do it, do there's it. a dog here, come on." Do your party trick. It's time. And if you can crap on command like that, I mean, I do find that admirable. Uh, wait, we I thought you were going to blame the dog. It went even worse. Yeah, we... That's <laughs> what I... making the dog eat that's it. That's what I thought, too. I go, I go in my head, oh, that's kind of a funny game. Let's see how long yeah. before the dog gets yelled at. And instead, <laughs> it's so much worse. And then how oh. would you go in a corner and crap with no one else seeing you at a party? Hold on. Let me get it back on. <laughs> Yes, Whitney. What's your third most creepy story? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want any more. I, I, I can't take any more. Whitney, do you listen to this show on a regular basis? or? I do. I drive for work. I listen to you every morning. And what, well, kind of job, you. what kind of job do you have? I work for a telecommunications company, and I manage all the cell towers. Okay. Cool. All right. I am... Um, did, Are in what, love? I'm sure. I, <laughs> I found my soul. I found my soul. Is anyone else a little curious about how the donuts tasted? No. They were Allie, probably nice and uh, flaky. Uh, oh, did she eat one herself? Yeah, did you eat uh, one yourself? I keep trying to move on from Absolutely. Whitney. Come on, man. Okay. We love Whitney. <laughs> <She> <laughs> said, yes. right. Whitney. We may need, we may need, <laughs> we may need a story from Whitney every day between now yes. and Halloween. All right, well, I'll Whitney's pop. escort. Guys, there's yeah. so, so many great so, so many great people on the phone that we're never we're never even gonna get to. Because everyone's playing for second place now, but I feel bad. You got a guy who saves his kid's earwax. You got... Oh, uh, my gosh. Hey, whatever. I mean, it's... It's, it's not an S in a corner. No. Yeah. All right. On that note, I guess... Uh, Whitney, congratulations. You're going to go S at the Hollywood Bowl. Hell yeah. You're going to see Danny Elfman. Please. Oh, no, no, please. Wonderful. No. Welcome to our OnlyFans. This has not been as profitable as we thought because apparently the people that are on actual OnlyFans are better looking than we look like, and they also are better speakers than we are. I tried to do something stupid. That was, this is why we're making no money on OnlyFans. Hold on. Hi. Welcome to our Only. Ow. God damn. Well, that's why we're here on YouTube, because we don't have what it takes to be on OnlyFans. But if enough people follow this page, you better believe we'll get naked and shove stuff into each other's holes. Yeah, and if you don't subscribe, we'll probably say something stupid to get canceled anyway. So, so either way, all roads lead to OnlyFans eventually. We'll see you there. In the meantime, thanks for checking out this video. You can find our show on K-Rock, on the radio, or wherever you get your podcast. Just search Klein Alley Show. Hong Kong.